What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We're in the clutch, baby. Um, hey! Yeah, man. We're here today. Uh, you see the title of the video. Um, definitely uh, want to put our two cents on what's been going on with the whole Diddy situation uh, uh -huh. and our thoughts. Um, we do have the video for the apology video. Didn't really want to put the video up of him doing the alleged, uh, or tell not alleged, but the, yeah. the attack um, from the CNN clip that we've seen from him and Cassidy from 20, Cassie from 2016. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's very interesting. So we're going to look at the apology video and then kind of pretty much give our thoughts um, after the video. So, All right, let's get right into it. I mean, it's, it's being played everywhere, but, you know, it's, it's not looking good for Diddy at all. Nah. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. It's crazy. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Hey, hold when on. When I sought out professional help. Hmm. Does this give you the vibes like... Uh... Travis Scott? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, All he's missing is the black and white filter. Yeah. That's it. That's crazy. <clears throat> Got to go into therapy. Huh. On rehab. Oh, I bet. Had to ask God. Rehab on a private island. Where the, private island. the where the, the feds can't get you so far. God for his mercy and grace. I'm so That's sorry. Smiling. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. Uh-huh. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Oh. I'm truly sorry. Huh. Truly sorry, huh? Truly sorry. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. He's truly sorry, but not at one point did he apologize to Cassie. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't say no mention of um, I want to say I'm sorry to Cassie or anything like that. And so this is the why, because with the whole arresting, so the LA uh, DA office was pretty much saying they're aware of the video of his mm -hmm. assaulting. Um, <clears throat> if the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, they are unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime of assault can be prosecuted. Yep. So as of today, law enforcement has not presented a case related to the attack, um, but we encourage anyone who has been a victim or anything like that to... Uh, or a witness to a crime to report it to law enforcement or enforcement, excuse me, or to reach out. But yeah, he yeah. He, he didn't. And it, and I guess the crazy thing is, I mean, I know we kind of like you know having all these people have conversation about it. But the crazy thing is, I I see people on social media, of course, saying, "Well, she didn't push press charges and all this and all that." But we know a lot of people that are in these mm -hmm. situations and I just feel like we can't comment on that portion because we don't know what kind of ties or holes he may have had on her. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of women who be in a lot of these sticky situations where we'd be like, bro, just walk away. And I don't, it's not that easy. Yeah. I don't think we realize you're, you don't know until you're in the situation, how consumed you are of it. And it may not be as, it's easier said than it actually is done to mm -hmm. remove yourself from a situation where you don't know financially. It's so many things that people are willing to put up with just because of backing, like financial backing, safety, other things. And we don't know what other threats, you know, yeah. there may have been put yes. out there for the reason why she didn't leave. So, And this kind of falls in line with the, if you remember the lawsuit that she filed against him, yes. this was one of the things. And around that time, he was one of those people saying, you know, or alluding to like people just trying to get him for his money, boom, 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 boom. But he ended up settling. Yeah. There's a reason why he ended up settling mm -hmm. and they reached a financial agreement. The day and, after. <laughs> mm -hmm, and yeah, it didn't even take long. And then now that this footage that came out, there are reports saying that he paid off the hotel. Uh, I'm not sure how many people, but he paid like 50K yeah. to get the footage. 
And it's just one of those things where this apology, he he probably did better just not even saying anything because yeah. the apology, you can poke holes through it easily because you weren't talking like that when Cassie brought up that lawsuit. This yeah. is you knew this happened. No one mm -hmm. else knew except the people that you paid off to get the footage, but you knew this happened. Yeah. For a while. The only reason why you're saying something now is because it got leaked, it got put out. So now, now it's hurting you even more than what you're dealing with now. What you've been dealing with with all the allegations that you had coming your way. Now, on top of video proof of you in 4K beating up on Cassie. And you know, if you watch the whole thing, we're not gonna play it here on YouTube. You can mm -hmm. definitely see it. You know, it's all over social media and stuff. It's it's tough to watch, bro. Yeah, it's like, graphic, man. Dude was unhinged. Doesn't matter if he was drunk or not. The dude was on a mission to hurt her. And there was no type of remorse in how he was treating her in that clip. It doesn't matter what context happened before then. All that happened right there was not, ex there was no excuse for that. That was mm -hmm. inexcusable. So that apology that he just uttered a couple of days ago, whenever the, um, uh, he, you know, Make that video look like he's at some type of fucking resort. Yeah. Like that apology, you should have just kept it to yourself, bro. Cause you you don't seem you only apologizing because it came out. Because if this one that came out, we you wouldn't have said anything. If anything, you if you felt so passionate about it, you should apologize to Cassie after the situation happened. But then you would open up a can of worms. Why are you apologizing to Cassie? What happened? Like yeah. I said. It's and a that cause was 2016. and effect. Yeah. That was 2016. And I mean, even December on his Instagram, uh, 2023, uh, he said, is enough, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I didn't, I did not do any of the awful things being, at, uh, being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. And the thing is, it didn't age well because here's the thing, bro. When you have stuff on you that you've done, you've been in this game for a very long time. Nowadays, a lot of people that's been here for a stretch really got to be careful because people are starting to talk up on things that happen pre camera footage, you know, mm -hmm. to the point to where it's easily accessible on the cell phone. So now a lot of people are being able to have stories, tell their side, tell the actual truth that they feel like uh, occurred in situations from way back when. And mm -hmm. things like this, when you were on top for so long, feeling like you can get away with anything, you can't just double down on, man, I'm protecting my name, whoop -de whoop when you know you've done things to this nature. Like, it's very sickening, you know, and People will find an excuse for anything. Some people are like, oh, no, to tell the whole story. I've seen one chick post that uh, she made up a, I don't know, she fabricated the story. I don't know how the hell she knew this. Talking about she tried to run out while he was taking a shower. She took some stuff. I'm like, bro, that is not an excuse for you to lay the smack of down on, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, a woman, you know, when y'all going through something like that. If somebody stole something from you, call the police. If she's crazy, get the authorities involved so that way you, guy who's on top, don't have to go through a what's my guy from Marvel, um, Jonathan Majors type of situation. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like when you're a public figure, you have to be mindful of everything wrong can go, everything uh, wrong can happen to you because you're the one who have the title and the status. Nobody mm -hmm. will care about the truth if the lie is more entertaining. So if your name is attached yeah. to some BS, best believe that people are gonna try to make it spin a story on it because it's gonna be a conversation that's give other mm -hmm. people revenue to talk about. So mm -hmm. when it's a situation like this, I'm looking at the video and I couldn't even finish watching it all the way, but I'm looking at that like, bro, this dude did this in a public hallway in a hotel where there's known to be cameras. If you're that bold to do it like that and just drop 50K from something that happened six years ago, what are the things that probably happened in private where the, no cameras were involved, mm -hmm. and conversations that were had, the threats that were made? Um, you know, these are just things that we have to think about. We don't know the real situation between them, the relationship, the why she didn't come out sooner, the why this yeah. and why that. I'm not here to analyze all that. All I know is mm -hmm. it's a tough situation. And from the optics, looking at it, looking at it on the outside, and this does not look good for homie. Yeah, nah. This is legacy yeah. ending stuff going on because now people don't take anything you said before as truth. Yeah. Because you made it seem like you was just oh so innocent and 
people just trying to take me down. You know what I'm saying? Like I even looked at the <laughs> Slim Thug. I remember posted something mm-hmm. uh, alluding to like, man, they just trying to tear down a black billionaire, man. They just always, it's always one of these situations. I ride for them until I figure out he had to go and make a post mm-hmm. on here. I'll read what he said. Cause, and I, I acknowledge, oh, yeah, I appreciate yeah, I him that. for even like owning up to it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Uh, he even commented and said, damn, Diddy, I tried to ride with the black man who had no charges yet, but I can't stand behind this. He said, I'll take this L, but I still will ride with my people until I see some sort of proof. I don't believe in blogs or civil suits. Apologies to Cassie and whoever else was on the right side of this right side this time. Honorable for him to apologize. Um, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you lie with the disrespect, be lie with the apology as well. Um, yeah, facts. So that was honorable. That's really why one of the reasons why we don't really aren't familiar with comment on a lot of things like this because we like to yeah. wait until stuff come out. We don't just jump to anything as soon as news break because there's always a developing story. There's always two sides to the story and then the truth. Uh, he uh, He's that? cooked. It's GG's for Diddy, bro. Yeah, Once man. that video came out, it was doesn't matter if any of the allegations are true. It don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter no more. It don't matter no Reps. more. You lied about this. So anything else you say Who's to say anyone's gonna believe you? And it's yeah. it's it's raps, bro. He all he can do is pray for forgiveness and try to make things right. If he really want to make things right, you may want to turn yourself in. If you really, if you truly, but we, I doubt that happens. So I mean, it's it's more of a um, like a um, I I, I don't know. Like, do you go to some type of? Because some of this, you could kind of see personality within people in mm-hmm. like things now that you look at it in retrospect retrospect like with the mm-hmm. with the making the band show and the, mm-hmm. the the temper and the people you know all the comments of things that people would say when you would get on his bad sides and the threats that people would kind of allude to in podcasts you know and stuff like that so it, it's always it, I think it's a, a, a personality thing you know what I'm saying that he needs to really go seek some deep therapy you know religiously i think it'll help him if he try to get more spiritually in tune with god you know Mm -hmm. jesus you know that's one of the only person that can save you really and yeah kind of blank out the public perception and uh just just really find jesus man he'll he'll help you get that mentality back you know right you know because it's always seemed like it's been like a dark cloud uh, of some sort you know all the allegations and rumors you know mm-hmm. it's been a bunch of rumors over the years you know that that's one thing that it's all now coming together but yeah. it's like puzzle pieces it's been a bunch of rumors over the years of little bitty things and now that mug is together you got footage here and it's things that we don't know and of course now that this is out there is usually when the time that people go and dig up some more stuff and they start to go and put the whole project together it's like oh man mm-hmm. you did this then in 2016 you did this this person awarded you this. You did the BT award. And this is going to start. Everybody is an, a detective now, you know? So at the world going to be the world. Social media going to be social media. But if he is truly, uh, um, you know, sorry for what he did and apologetic, definitely give Cassie. It doesn't have to be. Well, I would do it publicly because you publicly humiliated her. And I feel for her as well because mm-hmm. she has to relive this constantly. Uh, this has to be a topic that's going on. So um, it, it's a dread when we have to, you know, comment or even communicate on things like this. But just want her to know, praying out to her as well, praying for him, praying for everybody mm-hmm. in this situation because it's a lose, lose her and, you know, her revisiting and having to re-see all these things and kind of relive those memories. Him for, you know, again, just like Charlamagne was saying, we can't act like this wasn't a person that was a big staple in our childhood. You know, mm-hmm. and everything that he did, becoming a black billionaire or, you know, close to it, um, you know, just being on top, being black, trying to do black power moves, black shows, black channels, media, radio, you know, that's a mm-hmm. hit, you know, in our community when a person don't have the mentality or the personality to keep something like that going and being a good role model for the kids to be the next. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's it's a lot of um, L's taken in these situations, but they're definitely lessons. So this is just an example to you guys. Don't put uh, too much stake in other people. Always mm-hmm. have self-love and know who you are so that way you won't have to stick around with a person in a relationship that's gonna treat you in a way like this. Uh, because no matter who they are, bro, they still human at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. We, we put too much praise into 
celebrities and stuff like that they still human just like us they make mistakes just like us but when you put a celebrity on a pedestal it feels so hard when they fall down because we don't put them up here they're not superhumans. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. they just have Fact. more more uh celebrity status than the normal person but it doesn't Fact. make them a better person than you but let us know what y'all think in the comments down below y'all want us to do some more videos of us kind of touching on certain topics like that news wise clutch news <laughs> not clutch news <laughs> you feel me clutch current events whatever clutch you know <laughs> Ross okay what came with it that was that was you know what I'm saying that was pretty nice but nah let us know in the comments let us know your thoughts let us know what y'all think we'll read through them breeze through them but you know just have the conversation going man let's help mm -hmm. the next person not have to go through something like this there's always a way out even when it feel like there isn't but we love y'all right. always continue to spread love be love but that's what we all about on this channel catch y'all in the next one peace out Already This bitch is from Houston If you got a problem then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me